Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect is here in spawn. This is warm-up, the map is Inferno, and right now we're not going to be able to really gain too much off of this, so let's fast forward and see if he starts moving around. Still in warm-up, the suspect making his way over here towards middle might have a B-hop script. One guy bottom right mid is taken down by Zebra, and the suspect still hopping his way down here. Looks like one guy coming from the left-hand side, he is going to lock onto his face, takes down Frog. Looks like aim lock has been confirmed, B-Hop script has been confirmed, and wall hack has been confirmed. Alright, we're off to the races on the pistol round, making his way over here towards Banana with the 5-7. Guy up close here, he is going to start spamming at him while jumping through the air. Does take him down quite low, going to try to finish him off, is able to take down Eclipse, and takes down Flamingo. Able to take down Frog as well. One guy under pass here. Of course, he knows he's there because wall hacks have been confirmed. He is able to take him down. And that's just going to leave one terrorist remaining over there in halls. And he's going to get taken down by Anchor. As you guys can see, this is an incredibly blatant case. The suspect literally just pushing down middle and mowing over the other team with his cheats. On the bridge here, he knows he's there. Just going to shoot him right through the door. They're just going to leave one terrorist remaining. He hears the scope, not that it really matters, because he's just going to look at him through the wall and follow him through the wall as his teammate comes up from behind and takes him down. All right, guys, I don't think there's much else we can learn from this game, so I'm actually going to fast forward to the end and report the full-on trifecta. It will take down two of them, and let's let him finish off the round. One guy up here in halls. You can see that he knows he's there on the left-hand side. It will take him down. I'm going to come above Frog and take him down as well. Overwatch resolution, the full-on trifecta, that means aim assist is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt, and other external assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here, let's move on to the next case. Find ourselves on office. As you can see here, the suspect's got one kill, 15 damage around with 100% headshot percentage, but he is using an auto sniper. It looks like his entire team almost is using auto snipers say that since it is office, he's using an auto sniper, most likely cheating. Let's look over here at the radar. You can see that there are people on his team cheating. Four over there, looking backwards while teleporting around. And yeah, the suspect's still AFK. Let's speed things up until he starts moving. All right, so the suspect is back, but as you can see, he is the choppiest player of them all. The FPS makes it look like he's getting one FPS when he's moving around, and it's absolutely insane. Either way, I think I can clear this up with the interpol late. We can obviously see he is blatantly using a anti-aim. Alright, so once again, he's just sitting here in spawn, not really doing anything. I think he might have this account fairly automated, where it just kind of shoots at people if they come around the corner. And other than that, he's pretty much just AFK. As you can see, he's not really doing too much. Here he's making his way over here through the fire. He's actually just letting himself burn right now. Down to 46 HP. Will he decide to push over here towards the terrorist? Let's find out. Makes his way over here towards the terrorist room, pulls out that auto sniper, and I imagine he's just going to lock onto everyone here. He does, and we have plenty of evidence to report this. That's guy in the corner, and as you can see, his teammate is going to take him down. So we have the wall hack, the aim lock, and of course, the anti-aim. As well as griefing by letting his teammates do damage to him. Let's just report everything for this case, because he is just being a total dick. All right, he's able to take down Sparrow there with a nice little lock on his head. Able to take down Canary and Mask through the wall, through the smoke, and trying to spam the last guy through the wall, but I think that's too thick. Time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. Major disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Other external assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And griefing, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves back on D Inferno, and as you can see, the game is paused. I haven't seen any of it yet. The suspect here has 42 kills, 235 damage around, and seems to be staring at the ground. So just from this alone, I'm going to assume he is full on rage hacking. Let's find out if this is true. All right, as you can see, he's hopping his way backwards here. It'd be very hard to navigate like this. Now he's hopping kind of sideways, flicking around, and it looks like he is full on rage hacking, able to take down Seal, able to take down Toaster, and yeah, there isn't much else we're gonna gain from this. Just, we'll watch this one round. He'll hunt this CT over here in library, take him down with the dualies, and that's just gonna leave two CTs left. His teammate actually over right next to them with the bomb. Suspect gonna come around the wall here, and able to take down Cyclone, and he's gonna hunt down this final counter terrorist and knife him. All right, guys, let's go report this. Overwatch resolution, aim assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, gonna go with evident beyond reasonable doubt, and other shawl assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. 
As for grieving, gonna go with insufficient evidence here, and let's move on to the next case. All right, and now we find ourselves on agency, and I do expect to find some full-on rage hackers here. You guys got eight kills, 360 damage around, and just straight up locking on people through walls, coming out and shooting them. As you can see, is wall hacking, aim locking, and using a B hop script, so we can already report that full-on trifecta after only one round. Suspect's gonna drop down over here and make his way towards CT spawn. Flicks up top, nice shot on Emu. That was impressive. All right, guys, let's go and report this. Another case, another full-on blatant cheater. As for major description aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt, and other external assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here, let's move on to the next case. Alright guys, skipped a couple cases, and here we are again. As you can see here, the suspect's got 13 kills, 30% headshot percentage. Please, please be legit. It looks like he got absolutely annihilated right there by Shark. And no, wait, what? Is he staring at the ground right now? I think he was legit. I think he kind of was legit. I think he had cheats installed on his computer. And now he is full on rage body. All right, making his way over here towards middle. Two guys pushing up catwalk. He is staring at the ground, jumping up on the box, clicking over and taking down both shark and the call. One more guy peeks out on cat and he gets taken down. But yeah, I think that very first round he was legitimate right before he decided to turn on his rage bot and go full out here. Gonna be making his way up catwalk this time. Making his way over towards the A site. All of the counter terrorists are over here at the A site. And it looks like they are all going to be taken down one by one. One guy over by car. He is going to peek out. Takes a shot at him. And is able to take him down. Last guy over there as well. Takes down Banjo. Gets the ace. And we have plenty of evidence to report this. Looks like we will not get a legitimate case today. All right, guys. Time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this as for major disruption aim assistance. That is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt also. As for griefing though, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. That's today's cases. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.